Hey guys, it's Bank for about PC Gamer here. Some more AMD Vega, RX Vega this time news to talk about. So some interesting developments have happened and we're only five days out from the SIGGRAPH event which is the AMD RX Vega launch event which starts on July the 30th and ends August the 3rd. Now whether or not the card will be available for sale um, after the, the launch event um, no one knows but there is a rumour that it will be available from the 7th or the 8th of August. We'll have to wait and see about that one. Usually when we're so close to a launch we do start getting quite a few leaks coming through the grapevine and with the RX Vega card it's no exception so we have got another fire strike leak of some performance and from what I can see here going by the performance figures it still seems to be in line with the GTX 1080. Now why cry over video cards has compiled some more data as usual. Great site if you want to know um, all the latest news about um, graphics cards. Now um, someone did three runs of the fire strike performance benchmark and from what I can see um, the first benchmark was at 1536 megahertz and the stock memory frequency of 945 megahertz now this is probably the stock clocks um, no messing about with the power limit and we got a graphics score of 20,949 that's just a little bit under um, a stock GTX 1080 but with the core clock at 1630 megahertz with the same stock memory clock we did get a max score of 22,330 now that is a little bit faster than a stock GTX 1080 reference, reference card I did have one myself and I was able to get with the launch drivers uh, 21,536 around that mark so it is a little bit faster um, at this point so it is looking a little bit better than the Frontier Edition at least so there's also been some pictures showing what could possibly be the reference card now the reason I say the reference card is um, we do have some news that the cut down Vega cards will be um, adding board partners only so it won't be using reference design but the full Vega 10 card will have a reference design so this card what we're looking at now is definitely going to be from AMD now it does look very very similar to the RX 480 reference design card I have to say and with rumors of the quite high TDP limit I'm not too sure that this cooler is gonna have what it takes to keep it cool we'll have to wait and see but I do have my doubts about its capability to keep this cool and keep the, the memory and um, the clock speeds at 1630 megahertz at all times so we'll have to wait and see about that one and um, there's also some pictures from um, an Alienware video showing the top of what the reference card could look like and as you can see that does have the illuminated Radeon logo there so in my opinion looking very very sleek I like the design and um, looks very very clean so you know things are heating up not too much longer now before we know the truth or at least know more details about RX Vega it's been a long time coming I can't wait to report more news once we know more but um, that's pretty much it for me today guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching